Good afternoon. This is Mr. Fisher. I just wanted to say congratulations. You finished the very first uh, part of the virtual learning program, phase one. Uh, Dr. Boyce and I would like to talk to you a little bit about how things are going to change as we move on to phase two. So here's Dr. Boyce. She would love to say hi. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Big thanks to you from me as well and to all of your teachers for having a great couple of weeks of learning. So I'm going to begin with a lower school daily schedule beginning April 6. Um, this is when we will begin or implement phase two of the virtual learning program. Um, the mornings are going to look very similar to what they did in phase one. I just want to emphasize that the 8.30 to 9 a.m. time slot, we've learned from student feedback, teacher feedback, and parent feedback that students really enjoyed having this time to connect with their peers and their teachers, and teachers really enjoyed that time to connect with their, their, their students. Um, we also learned that 9 o'clock to 10 a.m. was an excellent time for synchronous uh, learning with their core teachers. Um, this was a good length of time, too, for students to get into their work, connect with their teachers and ask questions and, and continue to move forward in an independent way, but have their teachers available to help them. Between 10 and 1030, we learned that this was an excellent chance to have a break, to take advantage of the physical activities that were laid out on the Power School learning pages and students were active. We thought that was really important for this to remain in the program for phase two. Students then got back to their work. So they had a pretty full morning of learning with their core teachers. One change is happening as we've moved into that 11.30 to 12 time slot uh, building and move French into this, this, this time. There's a chance for students to work asynchronously with their teachers and also they can sync in with their teachers uh, and, and move into their Zoom uh, meeting spaces and, and ask questions about French at this time. At noon, uh, between 12 and 1, well, there's a good chance for us to have lunch and also get back to being active. We do think throughout the day it's important for students to get up and move around. So I'm going to move things over to Dr. Boyce, who's going to introduce the Be Curious at Crescent Academy. I think this is an, a change from Phase 1 to Phase 2. It's optional. Students can choose what they want to do. And um, I'm going to leave it to Dr. Boyce to explain a bit more about how they can sign up and what the program will look like. Hello again, everyone. Yes, I went through some of the design thinking principles for the Be Curious at Crescent Academy in my heads message. So right now what I'd like to do is take you through the mechanics of how it would actually work. So you can see here, as I scroll down, that this gives the boys an opportunity to connect in really meaningful learning with their crossover teachers in a synchronous way as opposed to the asynchronous way it was in phase one. So rather than attend classes uh, asynchronously, we have moved to a club activity, a, an enriched learning activity for the boys to work with their crossover teachers in a synchronous real life way. So let me show you what that looks like. It's a Monday, Wednesday and Tuesday, Thursday format, the same Activity would happen on Mondays and Wednesdays for the grade threes and fours between one and 150, and for the grade fives and sixes between two and 250. The choices are here. What you what the boys do is they can choose their first and second option for Mondays and Wednesdays, and then their second choice, first and second choice of options for the Tuesday and Thursday slots. In order to find out what courses are being offered to understand a little bit more about them, they can go here and click on this to read about the Be Curious at Crescent catalog, which is really kind of like a university catalog slate of courses. And then they can go on to the Google form link to find out, um, to actually sign up for those courses and it's really important that that happens before four o'clock tomorrow which would be Saturday so that Mr. Fisher and I can put everybody into those courses so that the boys can get their link first thing on Monday morning to join that Zoom course uh, Monday afternoon. We look forward to seeing um, the boys move into these learning spaces and, and it, it will give them an opportunity to really be creative and dig into some things that they might really find interesting and are curious about. So uh, have a wonderful weekend. We look forward to seeing you next week. Bye from Mr. Fisher and bye from Dr. Boyce.